Hey guys, real quick here. So last month in December, a couple of publishings that I that I put out there, a couple of articles, as well as one earlier this week and another one today talking about uh, mortgage interest rates. So if you look at this chart right behind me, you're going to see it's a chart of the 10-year treasury yield. Okay, as you see that yield go down, most of the time you are going to see mortgage rates follow in the same direction. So if the 10-year treasury yield goes down, mortgage interest rates typically follow in that same direction. They're going to go down as well. In this scenario, if you see that red line that I put in there, you're going to see from uh, October, mid-late October to today, that has trended down. That means the rates are getting better. It almost looks like uh, late October, uh, early November was probably the peak of where the rates were. Even though they went up a little bit in December, it felt higher than what they really were because they had dropped prior to that. That went back up. Now it looks like they're going back down again. If that happens and the demand for housing goes up, as the reports are showing, uh, and the inventory is going down, you're going to see house prices going up and it's it's likely to transfer back into a seller's market again. So if you're looking, you're going to want to uh, go ahead and try and make an offer before those rates go down uh, more and the demand goes up because it's going to be harder to buy if that happens or when it happens.